So there's a few props that we have in the film. We've got all the kind of usual tricorders and pads and phases and stuff. So I already had them, but there were some custom props that were needed for the film. The signal buoy thing, which was quite an interesting prop because we'd never really seen anything specifically like that in the show before that was Starfleet technology. So yeah, I kind of had carte blanche to do to to do what I wanted but I knew it couldn't be too big and it needed to accommodate this scroll it needed to open so they could put something inside it. I wasn't quite sure what I'd make it from and then saw in a shop a couple of thermos flasks so I chopped all the handle off and split it all apart and it was difficult man because those thermos flasks they're well made and when you're trying to cut it open neatly through the, the, like two layers of steel and stuff it was a bit of a pain to cut it all to shape and but I managed it and the, 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 the doors that opened were kind of an inherent part of the design already of the flask. I just cut like a rubber ball in half and glued that on the end and did that and then made, designed some decals and stuff to go on the inside as well as the outside because it was kind of a 360 prop. You were going to see it from any angle, including when it was open. I also soldered together some little circuits that you can buy just so it had a bit of life to it, these blinking LEDs. Also, of course, Jim, he made a really cool 3D model of it. I sent him like a few reference stills and like with a ruler next to it so that he could see what the thing looked like. So yeah, that was an interesting little build and just painting it all and put the obligatory little red label in there and the scroll just fits inside it nicely. For the scroll itself, I ordered some free samples of wedding invite scrolls. And then I'd kind of come up in a notebook with just kind of some rough ideas for what this Viton language might look like. And then just got a red felt tip and drew some sort of hopefully convincing looking alien text onto this scroll. Oh, and I put like a little twig and sort of made a split in it and then sort of pinched it around and glued it back up so that it looked like it had this kind of stick thing on the end of it. I had some help from a friend of mine, Dave, who is like really cool at figuring out 3D modeling and 3D printing. So I guess gave him some very basic kind of sketchy sketches and he took them and was able to figure out how to make them printable and viable and also work in a way where we could put the electronics inside them and, and figuring out like the interior space and stuff like that. So he designed the weapon that Phil uses. He came up with two actually, and one was, it was cool. It looked really good, but it was, it was just too big. The, the idea was that he'd kind of smuggled this weapon aboard. And so it was kind of like this covert little James Bond PPK type idea behind it. And the original design, it looked really cool, but it was just too big, unfortunately. And he also designed and built like the hacking device that Phil's character uses as well. He kind of, he came up with two actually for that. And one had this kind of cool articulating arm on it that looked really good, but we went for the sort of smaller, more covert looking one in the end. Don't ask me why covert devices have flashing strobe lights on them, but it's Star Trek, man, and everything looks better with a flashing LED or two. So, so that's what we did. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little video. If you did, then please like it and uh, leave a comment if you're inclined. Even if you hated it, why not? You might as well go crazy. Uh, and also please subscribe as well. We really appreciate that. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos coming soon. And uh, thanks for watching.